Good morning, Wayfam from Paris. I'm Ashley. This is my husband Josh and our friend Laura. Welcome to our channel. We sold everything we had to travel the world and now we want to share with you the way away. So subscribe down below, hit that bell, and give us a like to follow more adventures. Let's go. So as we've been walking around Paris, you keep getting whiffs of perfume throughout the air. Some people have fantastic colognes and perfumes. It's, it's and not the only whiff I've been getting. No, there's other whiffs too. But I do too. notice it. I mean, the perfume <laughs> came around for some reason. Now, last year when we were here in France, we went to Fragonard in Grasse, and we actually toured the factory there where they're making stuff. But today, we're in Paris, so. We're living out Josh's forever dream and creating our own set. Here at Fragonard in Paris. Let's check it out. smells and what they mean and the different formulas and amounts to use and now we're just mixing it we're going for it <laughs> Ashley was saying she's like oh no I'm making my own perfume already we gotta smell each one of them but it's totally different like when you put things inside of it I didn't know that it was gonna be like a school course but it's kind of fun it's fun but nerve-wracking because I have to she wear will be graded are you gonna wear it well you have to wear it so you have to like make something you like but when everything's mixed together, it makes something different and new. Mm -hmm. The hardest part about the scent making so far is not knowing how everything's going to smell in the end when it comes together. We're writing down percentages and that's just guesses based on what it smells like. Okay, well that's strong, so maybe put a little less of this in. This one I'm not a big fan of, but she told me that it helps does do this in the end. So we're kind of guessing. This is a real science and an art, and people who can actually make good perfumes, like that is a very well-paying position apparently, and I heard this, this is probably hearsay, but there are only like six or so like of the best perfumers in the world and everyone hires them to make perfumes at all the major labels. I'm not one of those, we'll see how mine turns out, and Ashley's not feeling confident about hers either. And she's apparently Snapchatting behind my shoulder. Instagram. <laughs> Very professional. You yeah, decided not to use this bergamot. I tried, I smelled them all together. Yeah. Um, I put them on the little things and smelled them. And I think that one was the most offensive smell because I want something light and ah. sweeter. But the bergamot is like um, really woody. Um, so it's kind of like more of a manly smell in my opinion. Josh, I think, has it on his. I've got about 10% in mine. Yeah. But this smells much better without the bergamot. They only have these amount of smells. Obviously, there's a lot more when it comes to making perfume, but she said because we're all noobs, it, they're all complementary of each other, uh -huh. so you can't really make a bad cologne. Yeah, I was hoping I'd get some vanilla or something, but yeah. it's, it's just all citrus and some flowery things. Yeah, we'll see how it turns out. I'm yeah. excited. Yeah. I had some like Mandarin now. Pour up to 80 and then you pour it. I don't know. Oh. That is hard to pour. Okay, 30%. It's all in the citrus. Okay. And then I want yes. to add a little bit of. These are our base scents. And we'll be doing 80%. So you can do a mixture of these um, larger ones up to 80% for this mandarin. And this is specifically to make a cologne mixture. Like the certain percentages are specifically for colognes. A little orange to this.
all my citrus, my base is now in here, 80%. Now I just have to fill it to the top with the other smells. One of the cool things about the way this works is you're given 100 milliliters at the end. So your percentages are in milliliters. 10% is 10 milliliters, 20%, 20 milliliters. It's a really nice and easy way to, to do it. And you come away with an airport transportable size of your perfume or cologne. There is a difference, and I forget the exact difference, but you have a scent at the end. I'm having to do math while we're working on this, and it's not easy because I'm doing it in 1.5 milliliter increments, and I need eight, so I did three, I did four and a half now. 1.5, so now I need 0.5. You're a scientist. Every last little bit matters, exactly. We mentioned it before when we were in Grasse, but there is a cool movie called Perfume, The Making of a Murderer. That is one of the reasons that I like Perfume so much. It's a weird movie, but I can recommend it if you like cinema and weird movies. And if you're over the age of 21. 18, 18, we'll go with 18. So you kind of lost track with the math and everything, so now at this point I'm just kind of mixing the smells I like. You forgot your formula? Yeah. Well, I mean, I have it here, but using these little squeegees, the math was... I've been checking mine off as I write them. It's great for keeping track. It. Oops. Yeah. It's, this smells good, but when I mix it in this, I know it's going to be like a lot less, huh? Yeah. I can't even smell that. I don't even know. I'm lost. <laughs> I suck at this. I wonder how Laura's doing. She's a perfectionist. She'll be here all day. <laughs> so my cologne is finished, I think. This is my first try. I've got 20% lemon, 10% bergamot, 50% mandarin, 8% negor, negro, neroli, 2% pithy grain. This is a secret Cabina. recipe, by the way. 3% <laughs> rosemary, 6% lavender. I'm calling it, I wish it were summer. <laughs> we'll see. Smells a little bit too much like lemon pledge. <laughs> I think everybody is right there with you. <laughs> At this point, Ashley and I are just sort of mixing and matching, trying to get something we like. Yeah, it's hard to make a recipe when you don't have the things together to mix and smell. Yeah, because in my mind I'm imagining something else and I can't get it with the sense that we have. No, yeah, you, you just gotta be happy with what you got. Yeah, I mean, but I'm still gonna keep mixing and matching until I find it. Yeah, this is fun. What have you got there? Uh, it smells a lot more like a rosemary and less citrusy, which citrusy is like cleaning supplies to me, so I was trying to get away from that. So, Same. Yeah, so now it's more like floral smelling. I put a little lavender in it, and I'm not a fan of the lavender scent, but I thought with just a little bit, it wouldn't be too bad. It's smelling a little bit more. Um, Herbal. Okay. All right. I'm actually happy with my scent now. It's of course not everything I imagined in my head when I first came into this, but with our limited amount of essential oils that we can use, I'm quite happy with this. It's got a little bit of a woody undertone, just a tiny bit. Uh, it's still got a citrus overtone, but not lemon pledge. It's got just a, a nice scent now. I'm happy with that. And a tiny bit of lavender on the bottom. Very cool. Ashley has already packaged hers up and she's quite happy with it as well. How are you liking that? You got Allie hooked on for a little while. I'm going to take her to the That's good. I think it's nice. I put it on my wrist. It's definitely a sweeter scent. Yeah. I can smell the orange now, but it totally changes after time. Oh, yeah. Like five minutes later, it's a totally different cologne. It's very different. But yeah, it's nice. So you get a glass bottle, which is beautiful, a nice little top, and then you can put it in your little. Fragonard bag. Don't forget the apron. Oh, and we got an apron. Let's I see it, Laura. 
I neglected to use or <laughs> We'll leave it packaged yes. so that it's easy to pack. And certified. <laughs> smell compared to yours? Oh, mine's way better. Ooh, oh, yeah? one's strong. <laughs> they are very different, though. This, these are not citrusy like all, everything we had. Yeah. What is that? Just a bit more floral? Yeah. I mean, it's a candle. It still smells good. <laughs> and being lit, candles are really light. I'm going to smell this one. Except after a while smelling a bunch of things, it makes me feel a little sick. Yeah, normal? well, I mean, anything that strong scented is going to be bound to do it. Ooh, that was kind of nice. They have so many things in the store. They have candles, they have soap. Josh probably could spend a ton of money in this store. No, I, I, remember I, I would time. definitely spend yeah. a ton of money if I had it. <laughs> Way harder than I expected. <laughs> you mean to find smells that you like? Yeah, yeah, to make my own scent to... I don't know, I, I think that I'm definitely the type of person that would rather go in and smell already made things. Mm. Um, because then you know it's going to be that way. Whereas uh, here, um, I had to create something on my own. Well, it's really a fun. whole art and yeah. it's your first try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you had the option, would you do this again? so it would be really fun to do it again and um, the, the whole course at the beginning learning about the smells and like the importance of writing down and remembering what the smells are so that you know what to mix together I thought that was really cool and I hadn't known any of those things before so yeah that was neat and it was crazy the lady was going around smelling everybody's scents and she's like oh you didn't put you put 20% of this in it and they're like yes or you you didn't put lavender in this one and they're like no yeah no lavender she could smell it from literally smelling a bottle that has a, a bunch of mixtures in it yeah that was crazy I can't do that another interesting thing about scent that Ashley touched on was it's important to write down the smells that you're getting in this feeling that you're getting in the memories that it's bringing to you because scent is completely unique to everyone what it signifies what a smell signifies what a smell even smells like is totally different for everyone you can't point to one exact thing and, and, and have five different people come out with the same answer on what it tastes like. It's like a wine. What you taste and what you like in a wine is what you like and taste in a wine. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Same with smells. So when you're creating your own perfume or cologne like this, you come up with something totally unique every single time because it is what you like, what you prefer. And the way you interpret it is totally yours. So that is it. If you come to Paris, definitely check out Fragonard. I, awesome. We like their colognes and perfumes already. That's why we came here. And the fact that you get to make your own is really cool and interesting. Yeah, doing a class like that was yeah. something unique and something that, I mean, you wouldn't want to do anywhere else but France. It's true. So we'll put the link down below to Fragonard for you guys just in case mm -hmm. you want to do it what we did today. Yeah. I hope we encouraged you to get out and travel today and we'll see you in our next video where we have some freaking awesome things that we're gonna do. Adieu. Adama. <laughs> Is that right? Sure. Au revoir. <laughs>